guys and welcome to the Pure Red Reds Adelaide United Fan TV. I'm your host Ellis Gellios coming to you from Eastern United's ground tonight. It's a very fresh Athelstan Recreation Reserve. I'm here with a former Adelaide United player from the NSL era, Nick Gooden. Nick, how are you tonight, mate? How's training? Yeah, training was alright. Um, thank you very much for having me on the show. No, thank you, mate, because uh, we love getting some of the older guys back on and um, and celebrating the fact that they are a part of Adelaide United's history. I'm going to uh, ask you a few questions about your time at the club, uh, what you've done since then, and, uh, and then we're going to preview the game against Melbourne Victory tomorrow night. Sound good, mate? Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Let's get into it. So, uh, uh, you were a part, part of Adelaide United's uh, inaugural squad in the 2003 Open. He's good, good to have a laugh with, but he also kept you in, in, um, working hard for the team and working hard for your position. So yeah, I still have fond memories of Cozzy and whenever we catch up, we sort of talk about a few of the things that yeah, we did together in that season. So, yeah. Beautiful. Um, did you subscribe to the view that it really was looming to be a new era for the game in the state? that year and in anything when you put those kind of plays together or you do you play a sport you play to win mm -hmm. and so you know people like Ross Aloisi, Rich Allegic, Carl Beard, I mean I can keep listing everyone but they're, they're winners and they we all all of us coming through wanted to win so we expected to be in the finals probably we got we copped it from Perth Glory uh, a very you know a good team at the time but yeah we something that we definitely had aimed for um, and it sort of felt like that the, that was the right sort of culture there to continue that. Yeah right, no, very well said. Um, you went on to become one of the most recognisable and iconic players based locally in South Australia after you stick with Adelaide United, featuring heavily for Adelaide City for a very long and successful period. Uh, can you summarise how the remainder of your career on top of winning up here at Eastern United? Um, I see that as not I mean, I was lucky enough to play in the cell and play for the Adelaide United. It lasted one year. That club at Adelaide City, we were there for 10 years. We developed a bond that those boys, we weren't all soccer heads. Like, we just loved the game. We loved playing. We loved winning. We loved being together. Outside of the game, we didn't really do much. But what Damien created there and the club, the whole junior of that club, always. Yeah, that was my soccer life. I love playing the game, and that's all it is. 
I'd, watching it is very difficult. I'm happy to watch my son and friends play, but really watching anything else is just playing it is is what it is. And I guess that's why I find myself here um, at East United. They've given me an opportunity, possibly, to run out my career, and I really thank them for that. I couldn't commit to what was needed at other at, at Raiders, so you know what they have accepted I can give here is um, unbelievable because it lets me keep playing the game. I love the passion, Nick. Um, anyhow, we'll press right along. So last week, we interviewed a former teammate of yours uh, from that inaugural NSL squad, Elias Demetidis. Do you still catch up with any of the guys from that side? As there were some very big names involved, particularly from a South Australian perspective. I'll, look, if I bump into any of them, we always have a good chat. I mean, that's the soccer community in FA. Um, Absolutely. People I play against is the same. But, you know, if you go back to that United team, definitely I'll see, I've seen Elias a few times. Matthew Kemp is one person that I see a lot of. Um, our kids are friends, our wives are friends. You know, We've been very good mates um, since well, we were together at the NSL. So um, I saw he sort of went away overseas, came back into NSL at Adelaide City, and then we yeah, played that year together. And, yeah, so we'll keep in So just to give me uh, your best mates, uh, as I hear off camera. Um, one of the rare Adelaide United two. Some of the people I met through him at that club, like you know, you Kevin Muskets and the Archie Thompson, like those guys are just pure breadwinners. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And uh, hopefully he intended that pun. Um, Perth Glory won the league in that season, which you played in the NSL. Uh, just recently, they did it again for the first time since uh, winning winning the A League um, in terms of the minor premiership. Um, are they going to win it again uh, this season? In your opinion? Oh, I think under Tony Popovich, of course. I think. Um, I mean, he's a very good coach, um, but I think you know, come finals, it, it brings everyone back into onto the same level playing field, and I think that's the beauty of finals. Um, and I think the true winner will be sorted out after that, those those games in the grand final. Brilliant, no worries, Johnny. If we've got any questions, just just shout them out to us. Any questions or comments? <laughs> Are there any? Yeah, cool. Can't see any. No. Cool. We'll press along, so we'll get straight into the preview. Uh, so coming in for Adelaide United this week, Jordan Elsey, the Civic Nyonga beer there. Um, no outs, unavailable Ryan Strain, Ken Ilso and Los Los Angeles, as we know. For Melbourne Victory coming in is Corey Brown, Terry Antonis, Lawrence Thomas, the goalkeeper, and Carl Valeri, who uh, just recently announced his retirement. Um, out for them is Anthony Leziotis and Matthew Sutton. No unavailables. Uh, some quick stats and facts. Adelaide have won uh, 14 of the games they played against Melbourne victory over the course of the A-League's history. Um, victory won 26 and there's been 10 draws, so they smash us in that. Um, in terms of goals scored as well, we've scored 57 against them and against us, 82. So we get absolutely hammered in that statistic. Um, some quick little facts to run off. If the Reds can repeat that result in January, which was a 2-0 win that day at Cooper Stadium, and now our club has uh, recorded back-to-back -back wins against champions often save their best form for this stage of the campaign. They boast the best shot conversion rate, which is 16% in the A-League this season. Almost double that of the Reds, which is 9%. Um, getting into the key components, Nick. So, Jordan Elsey's back to bolster United's defence, but it's going to have been the problem for us. Do you see that being an issue tomorrow night, irrespective of the likes of Ben Halloran having recently returned for the side? No, I think it's a totally different game. It's, uh,
two sides met each other in an, elim in an elimination final last season and it could eventuate again this season. As they are our main rival, from the perspective of a former player, how much does a win against the ultimate enemy really mean to play? Oh, it will certainly lift the player playing group. securing a home final. He had the following to say, the goal uh, in the previous week was just to make the finals. Now we've consolidated ourselves in the sixth and we're sitting fourth, so it's ours to lose. If we can beat victory and get a good result against Brisbane, then we've guaranteed uh, to finish fourth and that's what we're aiming for. I realize this doesn't make for good TV. I'm trying to turn the page. Um, <coughs> With the uncertainty that the playing group are under of not knowing who they'll be coached by next season in mind, how realistic is it that we can really mount a serious push to finish fourth in your life? I think the players are probably thinking about there is someone that may have been spoken to that are looking at the So they need to play finals if it means as well. Um, back when you played for the club in 2003, there was obviously no Melbourne victory, but the South Australian uh, Victorian rival Re has been uh, around forever. Um, what were the occasions like against South Melbourne and the Melbourne Knights from your experiences during that NSL season? Yeah, they were they were your good hard battle games. They were, it was very physical. Um, you know, people were out to to win. People out to hurt each other because they want to win. And then, you know, you cop it from the fans, and that's that's something that I, I think G's a lot of players up anyway. So yeah. It was, can you, can it's nice to have that feeling someone doesn't want you to win that much. Absolutely. Can you, yeah, sorry. No, I was going to ask, can you, can you elaborate on that by telling us um, whether it was at Adelaide United in that season or um, sometime down the track after playing for the club? Um, what's it like in that week where you're preparing to play one of the real big games for the year? Um, just to, um, you know, it's be quite obviously a lot more prevalent. It shouldn't change. settled into the club here and how has the team performed so far this year? It looks to be a very exciting mix of youth and experience that the club has balanced out for the players playing. that are a bit missed at the moment as far as I understand. Um, but we are sitting in a good position going, knowing that these players are coming back. Um, and also sort of coming into the club I've been welcomed. Um, I've played against a lot of the guys. Um, under a very well-known manager in this state. Are there 
there any plans to get you personally more involved with the juniors? Uh, we're seeing this happen a lot more at other clubs, such as your former club, Melbourne, uh, Adelaide City, and uh, the Adelaide Comets as well. It is important for the younger players to get contact hours and experience. Experienced guys like yourself who have seen it all. Um, I agree, totally. Uh, I don't know if I'm the person to be coaching at that age group. I'm not sure yet. I don't know my son. I try to help him as much as I can. Um, and juniors, and if anyone wants to talk, I like the fact that I can still play and help the, the ones in the team that are 16 to 25 that want to learn. Mm -hmm. Anyone who wants to learn, I'm happy to keep teaching them through the session and helping them with little things that may have been missed as they've come through. And then, yeah, if people want me to ask me questions or outside and I can help, I do. But, I, you know, to take on a big role like that, I, I don't think I have enough to offer. I'm just happily just helping them who needs it and who would like help. Adelaide United squad during the NSL era. It's been great getting you on, mate. Uh, I wish you all the best in your endeavours at this football club and whatever you pursue next in, in your football life. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I didn't think someone would pick me out for an interview, but yeah, I appreciate it. So thank you. There you go, mate. Yeah. Are you going up to the game tomorrow night? Uh, I don't think we'll be going. We'll definitely be watching it at home, mate. Beautiful, mate. Yeah, great to you. chat to you. Cheers. All the best, stuff. Huh? It's easy uh, to have a couple of beers at home. So, Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Guys, don't forget uh, the game tomorrow night uh, at Cooper Stadium, uh, or you can watch on Fox Sports as always. It's a massive game for Adelaide United. If we win this one, we're in a very good position to finish fourth and secure our home final. I've been your host. We'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.